Today we are testing the true capacity and performance of the Zenger Super Mini 10,000 milliamp hour power bank. And I must say that this is one of the best looking power banks I've seen in person. It's got that great ridge design that they clearly stole from Ramoa luggage and it's just shockingly small. It has to be one of the smallest 10,000 milliamp hour packs I've ever seen. In fact, it's smaller in volume than the Anchor Power Core Slim that I reviewed last week. I measured it. It's lighter also. And is capable of the same 18 watts output, which I think is kind of baseline that you should expect nowadays from these 10,000 milliamp hour packs. There is, however, a catch. It's expensive. This is a $50 pack, which is way up there in terms of the 10,000 milliamp hour category. I've done some testing to see if this has the performance to match that high price tag. So how does Zendia's super cute super mini perform? Let's find out. When testing the performance of these packs, what I'm really looking to do is see how much of the internal capacity you can actually expect to get out when charging at the various different outputs. For these 10,000 milliamp hour packs that are capable of 18 watts, what I tend to do is discharge at five, nine and 18 watts so we can see the performance across what might be the spectrum of use. The internal capacity of this pack is 36 watt hours and that is what we will be comparing against. At the five watt discharge, what we got was 31.5 watt hours and that's around 87%. At the 91 test, we got 30.1 watt hours, which is around 83.6%. And at the maximum draw of 18 watts, we got 24.5 watt hours, which is 68% or around about that. And so that's really good performance, far higher than average, but I wouldn't say exceptional and certainly not what you might expect from a pack that costs this much. As a reference, you're definitely likely to get a little bit more juice out of something like this than you would the Anchor Powercore Slim that I reviewed last week, but it wouldn't be a hell of a lot more when charging smartphones. So when it comes to the Zenja Super Mini's performance, I think you're definitely paying around $20 too much when it comes to pure battery performance. Do the other factors make up for that in your eyes? Well, that's a pretty subjective opinion, but what I would say is that this is a great looking pack and it is a really great form factor, it's just tiny. If what you are after is one of the most compact form factors out there that comes in a really sleek package and has really great performance capable of charging just about any smartphone out there other than the really big Androids with warp and flash speed charging, then this might be the power bank for you. If however you're looking to spend in this price range but you want the best performing battery, then you can definitely do better than this. There are batteries out there capable of far higher outputs without sacrificing anywhere near as much in terms of capacity. I'll be reviewing some of those channels shortly or you might be able to find some in the link below. Anyway guys, that's about it for this one. So I hope this video has helped you decide whether the Zendia Super Mini is the power bank for you. Certainly guys, I think this is a great looking pack with decent performance and something that I'm happy to keep in the everyday carry repertoire. And guys, I'm on a bit of a mission right now to find the best 10,000 milliamp hour pack out there on a pure performance level. So I'm gonna be reviewing quite a few more of these in the upcoming weeks. I've got a website plan where you can get the nitty gritty of all the test results and see exactly what is the best performing battery for your devices and your needs. So stay tuned. You might be able to find that in this video's description. If not, subscribe, it'll be here soon. I'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you.